Hello everyone. Today I will show you a case of eight years old female took over her friend dog, resulting in a direct impact injury to the left knee. On the same reason, has swelling and tenderness localized over the cartilage associated bruising, but neurovascularly intact distally and was able to extend any fully. So here is her knee surgery on the Lateral step we can see the small fragment with solid arrow indicated with adjacent swollen soft tissue. So another, the same lateral cross step of the knee neurodegraph, we assess for another fracture on the other bones portion, but we cannot find any fracture. So on the AP view of her knee, we can find only swollen soft tissue. On the skyline view, also we can find only swollen soft tissue. Obvious fracture we cannot find, but we suspect small fragmentation. So let's see this again. So the fragment, the, the fragment that you see is on the lower part of the cartilage. And if you look carefully, we can see a small knee effusion. But on the bone, we are in touch. So what do we call this fracture? So this fracture called patella sleeve evasion fracture. A patella sleeve evasion fracture is defined as an evasion injury of the patella in skeletally immature patient often between the age of age to 12 years old. Non-operative management via a cylinder cast for six weeks is indicated for non space fracture with intact extensor mechanism. Operative management with an open reduction and internal fixation is indicated for patellar sleeve fracture with a displaced if more than three millimeter of disrupted extensor mechanism. Complication from patellar sleeve fracture include patellar alta, extensor leg, quadriceps atrophy, and myunion. Our patient was managed with crutch to be grip and discharged with a plan for outpatient fracture clinic follow-up. She was 
asymptomatic when seen at the two weeks orthopedic follow up and both subsequent discharge. Thank you.